Hi, I'm Paris, and I've had to deal with a phone emergency this weekend. My wife dropped her phone, the Asus Zen Phone 2, cracked it up here in the corner, which might have been bearable, but there's one big crack across the screen, and it's acting weird and unresponsive. So rather than gamble on getting a new screen and hoping that fix the other issues, we've decided get a new phone. It's amazing what you can get for $200 right now. We decided on getting the Honor 5X. It's the newest addition to our Android family. The Honor phone line is the discount phone line from the Huawei company out of China. They make a lot of phones. They actually make my Nexus 6P, which I really am enjoying. Much more expensive phone, however. This phone has a 5.5 inch screen, HD resolution, 16 gigabytes of internal memory with an SD card slot so you can add more space on it. 2 gigabytes of RAM, which is a step down from the Zenfone 2, and it does have a quad-core processor, but probably not quite as fast as that in the Zenfone 2. But one thing I think my wife really will enjoy about this new phone is that underneath the camera on this one, as opposed to this, which has a volume rocker, this actually has a fingerprint sensor very fast, half second time to unlock the phone, which is almost as fast as the one on my Nexus 6P. Well, let's open it up, see what it looks like. Okay, it's pretty similar to the one that she had. It doesn't say Asus at the top. It's kind of a dark gray finish on the back. She said she didn't care about the color because she's gonna get a case or a bumper for this one. Okay. There's that fingerprint sensor. Oh, that's interesting. They have instructions telling you what everything is on the phone. So the volume key is on the side where she will like having that again. Power here and a feature I would like to have. Um, I don't know if she'll put this to use. It has two SIM card slots and it has uh, spaces to hold the various SIM cards. So whether you have the mini micro nano SIM card, they'll all fit in this. You don't have to go to the store and have them cancel your old SIM card and activate a new one and put that into your phone. Also in the box, something. Oh, there's your deal to pop the uh, SIM card tray out. USB charging cable. Nothing fancy on this. No USB type C plug or anything. They do give you a transformer with it. For a size comparison, I have the Zenfone 2 here, the Honor 5X, and my Nexus 6P. You can see these are pretty much the same size, a little bit larger screen on this one. Something really interesting at this price point, the back of this phone is plastic. This one, for being about $500, it's metal. This one, at $199, it's also metal. A little bit confusing with the trays. There are two trays. The first tray is for a micro SIM card, and that's this one here. Now this is the one from her phone I've put here to show you that one will fit in that. The second tray has two spots. One is for a nano SIM, so you, if that's the type of SIM your card has. Now the situation with the trays, there are two of them. The first tray will fit a micro SIM card. That's what was in my wife's previous phone, so we'll be using that one. The second tray has spots for two cards. The one that you see with the gold contacts facing up, that is a nano SIM card. That's what the Nexus 6P takes. And yes, soon probably all phones will need that tiny little one. The second spot is for a micro SD card to expand the storage of the phone. For comparison, this is inside the back cover of the Zen Phone 2. Two SIM card slots, but they're both micro SD, so you're stuck with that size. Also, one of them had a limitation on the data speed when you were running on that network. You can, as I understand it, use both um, network SIM cards in the phone, so you can have two phone numbers running at the same time, and they both run on 4G network. Okay, let's get started. I realize I didn't show you the back of the phone. The, the camera lens does stick out just the tiniest bit from the body. There's the fingerprint sensor. 
The phone is set up at the moment without a SIM card and uh, without the Google account. I haven't set that up yet. I'm going to put my finger on the fingerprint sensor. I set up the fingerprint sensor, so let's see how quick it will unlock it. There we go. Now this is a uh, typical brightness. I haven't changed it on this. I like the brightness at about 75%, but I'm not sure if my wife will be okay with this or not. Let's look at settings. You can see the first item is dual SIM management. Pretty impressive that they have that in a phone of this price. And the rest of the settings. This is Android 5.1. That's what it ships with. Hopefully they'll get it up to Android 6.0. But in setting it up, I found out it has the same feature my Nexus 6P has, which is the newest thing that soon all new Android phones will have, where it will be a, um, tied in to your Google account. And even if you lose the phone, it gets stolen. Somebody even wipes the phone out when they try to set it up again and log in to create it, an account so it'll be their own phone. It will say no. It needs to be logged into your original Google account first before they can do anything else with it. That's nice. To test out the screen and the volume, let's take a look at a YouTube video. Hi, I'm Roxana. And I'm Paris, and today we're going to try out some earbuds, which are very That's the screen. Now for the volume. Student, correct? Mm -hmm. Something unique about these earbuds are they vibrate in your ear. There was an update for the phone as soon as I got it on Wi-Fi. As you can see, it's at Android 5.1.1. And you can also see there's just over nine gigabytes free of the internal storage. I put a SIM card in it to try out the network. And as you can see, it's connected at 4G LTE. I'll try making a call, see what that sounds like. It's interesting, it tells you, this is good with T-Mobile and AT&T, it's a GSM phone, and it tells me T-Mobile, so it, if you have a different network on there, it will keep track of that. You're ringing out there. Hello? Hi there, calling you from this phone. How does it sound to you? How do I sound to you? Oh, very good. Clear? Yes. Okay, thanks for the help. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye. The battery is 3000 milliamp hour, which is pretty good considering it's just a regular HD phone screen, so it shouldn't suck up the battery like my Nexus 6P. I sort of regret having such a high resolution screen because it really drains the battery. The Honor 5X, I think this is a pretty good quick replacement I was able to get for my wife's phone. She dropped it a couple days ago. We went to Amazon. We ordered the unlocked version of this phone for $199. We have Amazon Prime. Two days later, the phone shows up here. I can set it up, swap out her SIM card, put in an SD card she's ready to go my daughter Jimena she has a hundred and fifty dollar Android phone that we got for her right now but she really wants the newest iPhone saving up her money for it seven hundred and fifty dollars if she's going to save up the money then she, if that's how she wants to spend it but after my wife dropped her two hundred and twenty nine dollar phone and we saw what happened there we asked her again are you sure you want a seven hundred fifty dollar phone she's sure she does Sometimes people can't learn from other people's mistakes. They have to risk making that mistake themselves, even if it may be financially painful. My suggestion is to get a $200 phone that's actually pretty good, offers a whole lot of features, and if you do drop it and the screen cracks someday, you'll say, oh well, instead of, oh my God. Want to learn more about the Honor 5X? We have a link to it down below this video. You can keep checking back for future videos, or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. Shopping is easy.